we're going to be taking my 1983 Pontiac Firebird about 400 kilometers to a car show and the car is not show quality. Should be good, should be fine. They just told me they fried both tires off this thing yesterday in the burnout competition. Have to take more opportunities. Look at the rubber. Rubber splattered all over the place. <laughs> and beer cans. Beer cans and rubber. Oh my goodness. Wooden floor and a fifth wheel hitch. Short box step side. <laughs> Interesting. Well, I'm definitely late. It's the end of Sunday. I had to replace the alternator and that wasn't even the problem. But anywho, I made it. There's a couple people here still. Better late than never, right? What year's that, 80? Uh, 83. Volkenstein. Volkenstein. This thing's got newer wheels on it. Maybe a newer chassis. Looks pretty much all original. Four-speed overdrive? I don't even know. They just told me they fried both tires off this thing yesterday in the burnout competition. So I guess I missed a good show yesterday, freak sakes. Have to take more opportunities. Look at the rubber. Rubber splattered all over the place. <laughs> and beer cans. Beer cans and rubber. Oh my goodness. Ha <laughs> ha.
every year they show big rigs and I think they have a special class for kids toys like power wheels. I've seen this one before, this extended cab one. I've seen it before. I think it's homemade. I like the extended cab, but I don't know why the back window is sideways. I think the back window should be vertical. I don't know. Pretty cool though. Charger. That's an absolute unit. Oh, I think that's a Ford. What a unit. Sounds good. <laughs> what a unit. Oh my goodness. I'm glad I got to hear one. the Camaro. <laughs> well, I guess I'm leaving and I guess everyone else is too. Better late than never though. That's cool. I missed uh, like pretty much everybody. Normally this field is full, but I guess it rained today. Well, I got to see a couple, couple of cars before the before the day was done, so that's good. And I drove the Firebird like 400 kilometers or something by the time I get home. And I'm just leaving now, so I've only done half of it. Still got the other half to go home. But 
I was actually late getting here and I missed yesterday. I'm gonna try not to do that. I'm gonna try not to miss stuff because I hate missing stuff. So I'm kicking myself for that. But I'm glad I, I'm glad I came and uh, it's good just to get out. Everything's been on lockdown for a long time. So it's good just to get out. Thank you. I was actually working on the car this morning because I was gonna leave and uh, I got gas and the car wouldn't start after that. So apparently my battery drained and the alternator, uh, I thought it was the alternator, but I think it was a poor connection to the alternator. So anyway, I got that sorted. I actually changed it before I sorted it out, but we made her. Now I just have to figure out how to get home. Almost 200 kilometers each way. The voltage is sitting at 14 volts, so that's good. Uh, temperature is sitting straight up and down which is what I like 189 I've seen it go between 183 I think 189 is probably the highest I've seen it it's just sitting here idling but the electric fans are on well we made her home it was a good little trip um, a little bit uneventful it sucked that I had charging issues this morning because I probably would have been there like two hours earlier but it is what it is. I think yesterday would have been the, the good day. I think Saturday is the, the burnout competition and all that good stuff. Well, I was gonna go to a car show this morning and pump some gas, go to start the car and the battery's dead. So apparently the alternator's not charging. I put the uh, 5.3 with the truck intake in the Firebird. There was no room for the bulky, the big bulky stock wiper motor. So at first, originally I deleted the wiper motor. And uh, you don't drive these cars in the rain anyway because they have they have no traction. It's really light in the ass end. So. Uh, my dad passed away June 14th and he really, he, got, he, got, he kept bugging me about it. He kept bugging me about the wipers. He said, you got your wipers on yet? You got your wipers working yet? So I did, I did a video. I put a Dodge wiper motor on because it's smaller and it fits and it works. So I'm glad I did that because I ran into a little bit of rain today, not a lot, but just enough where you want to clear the clear the windshield. It's kind of been overcast and muddy and I've seen wet roads, but I've been pretty lucky today as far as rain goes. Uh, the temperature gauge straight up and down, 185. It stays really consistent. If I turn off the electric fans, it might go up a bit. When I deleted the thermostat, a couple of people questioned me about that. But it always runs perfect temperature and it circulates early. It works good. Bye. Bye. Thank you.